questions, Coach? Well, I felt like we were fighting uphill all night. Um, we had to leave 24-23, so the only time we had to leave, we tied it a bunch of times. Um, really came down to two things. We fouled too darn much, and we couldn't get a rebound when we had to get a rebound. And um, I thought we tried hard. I thought we competed. I thought we did a great job on Hap. It was absolutely a terrific player. Just couldn't get a rebound. And um, so disappointed um, in the outcome. Um, but I thought our guys were dialed in a little bit more, especially defensively. Questions, please? Back in the back. Hey, Coach. What were you hoping for there on the inbound at the end? Are you guys very wary of Iverson's defensive rep? Not what, not what happened. That's not what we wanted. We, had, had a guy, we ran the play wrong. We had a guy run the play wrong, so it's not what we wanted. Other questions? Just to follow up, is it surprising that, that would, something like that would happen so late in the season? Uh, it's disappointing, yeah. It's disappointing, but... Um, it's disappointing. Down here in the second row, get the mic to you. Mark, in terms of trying to get the lead, you had a number of chances. Do you think that in a game like this, getting the lead would, would have, with your team, made a difference? And even if even as a small lead? Yeah, it would have been nice. We just couldn't get stops. I think for the most part, our defense was pretty good. We just fouled too much. I thought Davidson made a really tough shot, you know, on the baseline. I think another one they made was another tough shot, but we just fouled them too much. So yeah, getting the lead would have been nice. We just couldn't, just couldn't get it. I mean, whether it was a rebound or a missed shot or whatever it was, we just couldn't get it. It's kind of the way the year's going. And just to follow up on the last play, I, I, you were yelling at Anthony. Was he the one? Who I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Down the right here. Mark, what was that last huddle like? Um, did, did it seem like you guys were going to finally, even being down three, going to finally break through? Well, no, because they only had five team fouls. We had 12. So we knew they were going to foul us, um, which makes it, you know, which takes more time off the clock. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you were hoping. Really, a minute 22, you were hoping you'd get a rebound. That's what you were hoping. The score was tied. I had a chance to take the lead, so we gave him two offensive rebounds and then finally scored. And uh, then we missed a free throw. We got, you know, a chance to tie it again with 8.9 or whatever that was, and we missed a free throw. So take two more second row in the front row. Mark, in terms of the start of the second half, you were talking about fighting uphill. Is that what we're talking about when they when they jumped out seven right? At the end? I just felt like we were. We were always behind our time. We never took the lead. And, um, you know, whether it was fouls, them shooting more free throws or whatever it was, I just felt like we were fighting uphill all day. I just, and, um, you know, it, just, it is what it is. And it would been nice to get the lead. I think it might have helped us. Last one right here. The defensive effort against Ethan Hat, <clears throat> excellent today. Did you change your rotation? So a lot of guys flying at him. Yeah, uh, you know, we've just we've gotten better um, at doubling the post. Um, our timing was better, and uh, I think our I think we made him work harder to catch it. And then once he caught it, I think our timing was better and our rotations uh, were better tonight um, in it. But um, you know, obviously we just didn't get enough stops. Coach, thank you very much. This is uh, Kevin Herter up here. We'll take questions for him now. Hey, Kevin, just the quickness of Iverson to make that steal on that last play, were you aware that he was that close to you? I was. Um, unfortunately, a play that we were supposed to be running, um, you know, that wasn't the look, so I wasn't really expecting the ball. And um, Deion taking out how to get the ball, and we didn't have a timeout. So, yeah, when it broke down, I should have tried harder to get open. Other questions? Let's go over here, then we'll go over to the second row. During those last free throws, it looked like Ethan Happ was uh, talking to the officials buying time. What was going through your head as you were waiting to get the ball? I, I didn't know why we weren't shooting yet. Um, I don't know what was happening under the basket, but 
I'm not going to say too much. I, I just don't know why I wasn't shooting. And I was getting frustrated and just that I was getting taken out of rhythm. But that's not an excuse for missing. Um, I just didn't know why I wasn't shooting the ball. I don't know why it took so long to get the ball. Right here. Kevin, you know, there have been so many games this year where you'd fall behind early in the second half, come back, come back, and then couldn't make the plays down the stretch. Did this feel the same, or did you think it was going to be different? It felt different. You know, we, we were making plays. We were kind of going back and forth. We never got over the hump, never made the shot to go up. But kind of similar thing happened that's been happening all year. Coach Turton is going to take a lot of heat for it. You know, everyone's going to point at him. Everyone's going to look at him. I'm sure he probably took the blame up here a couple minutes ago, but, but Coach Turgeon doesn't miss rebounds. Coach Turgeon doesn't miss a free throw. Coach Turgeon doesn't throw the ball away. Coach Turgeon doesn't execute plays. We're supposed to execute plays that we practice multiple times. So that's all on the players. And so this loss is on everybody, especially the players, because we didn't make the plays down in the last minute, 12 seconds, and win the game. So they wouldn't say what they want about him, but we didn't make plays for him. Last two, Kevin, did Mark talk about what you guys are going to do the next week, uh, whether it's wait for the NIT or uh, just what, and what, how hard is it going to be to wait for the next week, just about the postseason and everything like that? Well, we haven't gotten to talking about that. We don't really know what's going to happen. Kevin, thank you.